Hey everybody, it's Derek from Points of Light. Um, if you know me at all or if you've tuned into some of our podcasts and our other videos, you know that one of my favorite things in the world are True Vogel Healing Wands. And we are so blessed today to have one of the largest selections anywhere of these Vogel crystals. And I want to go through some of the Vogels we got in. We uh, just came back from the Tucson show and we just got a large order in. And the first stuff we have is this beautiful order we got in from Master Cutter Drew Towsley, who is one of the only cutters in the world who hand cuts and hand facets these perfect healing wands. And if you don't know much about the uh, Vogel style or Vogel, true Vogel healing wands, um, they were invented by a man named Marcel Vogel who worked for IBM for many years and he got into crystallography kind of by accident, but he was you know, pretty much a genius type of personality. And he had a vision one night of a crystal healing wand that was cut in the shape of what he described as the Kabbalistic tree of life. And it had some amazing properties. And one of the properties uh, was that it had a 51 degree angle on one of the uh, tips. And that is on the same angle that you find on the Great Pyramids of Giza. And one of the things he noted about it was that this angle is resonant with the actual atomic structure of the silicone and oxygen inside of the matrix of the quartz crystal. And he gave uh, that as being one of the main reasons why these had some sort of healing properties. Um, was a resonant effect that it was tuned into the universe or tuned into the structure of the crystal itself. And so what we have here are some of Drew's finest pieces. And we are always have been carrying Drew's crystals since we've opened. And we've had, um, you know, at some point we've had up to 20 of these in stock, but they move fast. And it's hard to keep them in stock because they're so sought after. Um, I've basically kind of compared these to the Stradivarius violin of crystal healing tools because they're hand cut by a master, maybe, you know, like I said, one person in the world does this by hand, and they're perfect. If you look at this uh, symmetry of the facets, it is perfectly cut. You very rarely see any type of difference in the size of the facet and the placement of the facets. Really amazing work. Now, Drew was inspired to cut his own version of a healing wand based off of the geometries that Marcel provided, and uh, this is called a magician's wand, and this is a smoky quartz magician wand, and it's just also a very clear, water clear smoky quartz cut into its own kind of faceting. We also have another water clear quartz here. This is a 12 sided wand. And 12 is a very symmetrical sized wand. Uh, you know, you have like 12 vectors, is a perfect kind of balance that you find. So if you look here, we have uh, this is a six sided wand. And six is the natural amount of sides that a quartz crystal would have in nature. So in a way, this is kind of the perfect crystal. It's been faceted to uh, make it harmonious. And the reason why Marcel Vogel thought to facet crystals was he thought, well, if a crystal in nature has six sides, but all the sides, when he would do laboratory work and try to study the crystals, he found that every quartz in nature had a little bit different shape and size to it. And the frequency, when he'd measure the vibration, would be just a little bit different for every quartz crystal. So he was looking for a way to try to balance out the energies to be able to run tests to see what kind of qualities quartz crystal had. And uh, working for IBM, he was looking for properties for what we now use like liquid crystals, LCD systems uh, for your TV screens. And he was one of the pioneers of that kind of work. And when he started to facet the crystals to kind of make them all the same in his uh, you know, studies, he would first cut a four-sided crystal and then a six-sided crystal, he found that he was able to get uh, results that were very similar every time in the frequency of the crystal. And that's when he discovered that these frequencies had what he described as healing powers. So Marcel Vogel was a pretty interesting scientist and these crystals that we have here really are his lineage. And we, you know, we're pretty, pretty blessed to be able to have anything this remarkable in stock. Uh, these are, again, hand cut by Drew Towsley, who is one of, you know, maybe two people in the world who even attempts to cut with this type of precision.